Okay, now let's do sum number three. The boxes are to be filled with apples in a heap. If 24 apples are put in a box, then 27 boxes are needed. If 36 apples are filled in a box, how many boxes will be needed? Okay, now first of all, here we have apples and boxes. Okay, so let the number of apples be x. Let the number of apples be x okay and so boxes needed to fill so we'll put that as y let the boxes needed to fill be y okay so apples x and boxes y now what happens is if you have more number of apples in a box, you would require less boxes. So, more apples, you require less boxes. So, what does it mean? It means that this is an example of inverse variation. Therefore, it is an example of inverse variation. Fine. It's an example of inverse variation. It's an inverse variation. How do we write? Say x is inversely proportional to y. So x is apples are inversely proportional to the number of boxes. So we know what's the next step. x is equal to k upon y where k is, k is constant. Therefore, x y is equal to k k is constant fine now substitute the value of x and y and find out the constant first so we have 24 apples and how many boxes 27 so when we have when x is equal to 24 y is equal to 27 k is equal to what? So our equation is x into y is equal to k. x into y is equal to k. What is x? 24. 24 into 27 is equal to k. So let's find out 24 into 27. 7 fours are 20, sorry, 28. 7 twos are 14 plus 2, 16. 4 twos are 8, 2 twos are 4. We get 8, 8 plus 8 plus 6. 14, 4, 5, 6. So we get k as 648. Okay. Now k that is constant is 648. Now they are asking if 36 apples are filled. Now 36 apples are filled, that means when Apples means x. x is equal to 36. How many boxes will be required? y will be how much? But we also know k. So k is how much? 648. Fine. We have derived the constant value over here. Now we'll put the same thing, same value and find out y. So x into y is equal to k. x is how much? 36 into y is equal to 648. Therefore, y is equal to 648 upon 36. Right? 648 upon 36. So, we do 2 1s are 2, 2 8s are 16, 2 3s are 2 2s are 2 4s are. Okay, then we have two nines are two ones are two six are two twos are nine ones are nine nine ones are nine carry seven nine eights are seventy two. So what is our value for what remains here eighteen? Okay, so value of y is 
18. That means, what is the answer? What is the answer? How many boxes will be needed? 18 boxes will be needed. Alright? Now, I'll explain the sum again to you. Number of boxes, a, a number of apples X, number of boxes Y. It's find out which variation. It's an inverse variation. We know the value X into Y is equal to K. Find the value of K when we know X and Y. After finding for K, the next uh, the next situation is x is given y you have to find k remains constant and we found the value of y y is 18 so the answer is 18 boxes now sum number four we'll do we'll do it directly from the textbook see you okay here write the following statement using symbols of variation the wavelength l of the wavelength of a sound L and its frequency F are an inverse variation. So L for L, I write the answer here. First one, we have wavelength L, right? Wavelength is L. So L is inversely proportional to frequency that is F. So L is inversely means 1 upon F, okay? When we say inverse, it will come as 1 upon whatever is given. So your L is inversely proportional to 1 upon F, that means L is inversely proportional to the frequency. The second one, the intensity I of a light varies inversely with the square of the distance D of a screen from the lamp. That means, answer, I varies inversely, that means 1 upon something. With the square of the distance and it is denoted by d. Square of the distance means d square. Okay. So, I hope this is clear to you. Thank you.